Hey everyone, Jeremiah here from J3B Digging Canada. Now I am a friend and proud supporter of Brute Magnetics, and today I'm going to teach you how to choose the right magnet. Now to start things off, there's two different styles of magnet you can get. The first style is single-sided, and then there's the double-sided. I'm going to quickly go over both of these magnets and show you what they're used for. Starting off with the single-sided magnet, these are best if you're at a location like this and you want to drop straight down. Now I'd love to show you, but as you can see, my lake is kind of frozen right now. But these are good for dropping straight down. So you can touch the surface like this and go all the way across and just keep bobbing and see what metallic items you can grab. But these you don't want to use for casting way out there because as you're dragging it back, the magnet is not going to touch the surface because you're pulling and it's going to stay in an upright position. So these magnets are best for bridges, docks, and anywhere you want to drop straight down. Now, double-sided magnets. These are the bad boys you want if you want to cast out far. Because no matter how far you throw this, guaranteed, one of the two magnetic sides are going to land on the ground. And then you can pull and get any metallic objects that it can grab onto. You can still use these at the same locations. You can use these to cast out of docks, bridges, creeks, rivers, wherever there's a body of water that you want to throw your magnet into. And these can be used for dipping up and down because when they hit the surface, they have a chance to fall over on either side. And you can still use these if you want to just drop straight down. So when it comes to choosing the magnet that's right for you, you have to decide, do you want to cast out or just drop straight down? The next thing you want to consider is the strength of the magnet. This is entirely up to you, but these are my recommendations. Age. Age is a big thing to consider when you're getting the powerful magnets or the less powerful magnets. Because you have to be strong enough to pull that magnet off of something. If you're buying a magnet for your child to start magnet fishing, don't get them the dock buster that's like 3,600 pounds pull because they won't be able to take anything off of that magnet. You'll want a smaller size one for that. They're good for kids. And even if you're an adult, it all depends on your strength level because whatever you get stuck to the magnet or stick the magnet to, like bridges, I've done that, you have to have the strength to pull that magnet off. Magnets like this, this is the 2600 pound pull magnet, but it's double sided. So it's 1300 a side, which is a very good basic magnet to start with because there hasn't been much that I haven't been able to pull off this magnet. So remember, when it comes to choosing your magnet, you have to think about whether or not you want to cast out far, drop straight down, and then you have to consider, am I going to be able to pull a piece of metal off my magnet? I really hope this tutorial video has helped you choose the right magnet for you. If you haven't already, check out Brute Magnetics. The link will be in the description below, and if you use the code J3B at checkout, you'll get 10% off. Now, once you get your magnet, click the video on the screen. It'll teach you how to tie it so you don't end up losing it. Take care, everyone. Happy hunting, and God bless. Wow. I did not expect it to be frozen.